Hello mate, welcome back. In this video I am going to be just rendering some images for my game. In this uh, scene what I've got is I've changed the screen resolution or the render resolution to match that of an iPhone 12 or any other mobile phone screen more or less. And what we're going to be doing is basically she's this is the girl who uh, is the main character's sister and she's got a Facebook page. so. We're just going to be doing some selfies. This is just going to be one of the selfies that's going to be um, on her Facebook page, basically. So really all I'm interested in for this shot is her to be in the correct pose and there to be good HDRI with decent lighting in the background. So what I need to do first is I really need to get the character into some kind of pose, um, which may or may not be an easy thing to do it really depends on if i've got anything that suits in my content library i could put her in just any kind of pose and then just have one of her arms stick out which i have a sneaking suspicion is what i'm probably gonna have to do so i'm just gonna go with um standing poses and just see what's going on um kind of like actually like this pose this is a uh this is a pose for a specific outfit actually but I think the actual pose itself is pretty good it doesn't really matter what she's wearing on her feet on account of the fact that the selfie is going to be a standard kind of selfie the camera is going to be in her hand um, so you're only going to see what you would normally see in a selfie so okay so that's her in the pose so she's looking this way so what we really want to do is get ourselves into position and just see if that's going to make a good selfie or not. She's probably doing what all girls do when they take selfies and looking sideways at the camera because they believe it makes them look better. Everyone foolishly believes they have a good side and a bad side. I'm kind of digging this. Let's just get a camera kind of in place just so that we know roughly what angle we're working from. And then we can come back out and we can move her arm into place. So what we want to do is probably going to have to start with the shoulder and that's going to have to be a front to back job no uh, let's try bending that then bending that outwards don't really need that to be bent too much okay so the shoulder's not in too bad of a position i'm going to move it forward slightly just to make it look like a selfie is actually possible and then this arm is going to do the same thing uh, probably a bit less than that and then have that bent towards the camera the actual hand itself isn't going to be in shot so we don't have to worry too much about what's going on there but we do need to obviously put the camera roughly where the um, where, where the phone would be in this case so I'm going to move that forwards a little bit more so that it actually looks like she's holding it Okay, cool. So if we come back to perspective view now, what I want to do is the camera is probably going to be freaking miles away. Yeah, this looks all the way back there. So we're going to have to adjust some things. I think that's probably close enough in terms of... Oh, that's the wrong one. In terms of that, but yeah, now we've got a close-up of our boob. I'm sure many of you appreciate that, but that's not what we're after. So we need to reduce the focal length somewhat. And it's probably going to be more like that. And then we can tilt the camera up so that it's actually pointed at her face. There we go. Now, I have a sneaking suspicion that if we make her look straight at the camera with her eyeballs, she's going to go cross-eyed. So let's find out. Let's grab that. Grab the eyeball. Right eye, point at camera. And then do the same thing with this eye. Because it's the camera's really close, so... Yeah, that just looks stupid and weird. So what we need to do is come out of the camera view. In fact, better still, we're going to go back into the camera view. We're going to copy the camera that we're in, jump into our new camera, and then we're just going to come all the way back, right back down here. So she's looking through that camera. Now if we go back to camera one, select that camera this, this illusion may or may not work it really depends on if 
I was accurate in my positioning of yeah so now it looks like she's looking past it so we're gonna have to move that camera ever so slightly but we'll get her looking at that camera with both eyes first so that it looks less like she's cross-eyed cool beans now we can go to back to camera two and with this camera what we can do is make sure we've got it selected first zoom in and now we can now you can see she's actually looking straight at this camera so what we can do is we can actually maneuver ourselves so that we're behind that camera there we're going to have to do a bit of adjustment here moving ourselves down basically we want uh, this camera to be pointed through that camera take a bit of a faff just keep going down keep going down and look up right we're almost there and now we are there so now if we go to camera it should look now like more like she's looking directly at it she's still looking kind of weird so I'm gonna rotate her head ever so slightly we need to rotate uh, twist it a bit make sure we're actually on head and then bend it with it's gonna go a little bit of side to side and then a little bit of forward bend there we go so now she's looking straight at this camera happy with that so what I want to do now is give her an expression. So back into my smart content and poses, expressions. And she's not going to be smiling because apparently smiling isn't cool anymore. So we need to find a good photogenic kind of pose. One of those poses, you know, where girls are trying to look natural. It doesn't actually look natural at all. It looks ridiculous, but they do it because they think it makes them look better. Um, let's go with something like this one totally a natural expression and in no way posed whatsoever but you know it is what it is it is what it is they're not doing it for our benefit probably <laughs> let's give that a moment to load cool so that's our expression loaded now the last things we need to do is we need to simulate the hair because it's default hair and then we need to choose a, a HDRI background so I'm just going to turn off simulating from a memorized pose and I'm just going to hit simulate it shouldn't take very long it's only the hair that's being simulated as you can see it's just rattling through that we just want the hair to be draped naturally around her head and then we can switch to HDR the uh, Nvidia iRay mode and we can choose an HDRI that's going to suit I don't want it to drip all the way down so I'm probably going to let this go to about 40% any further than that and it's going to look like she's standing still we want it to look like she's kind of moving a little bit I'm thinking maybe actually 35% probably going to be enough so yeah kind of bored now let's just see how that looks happy days yeah that's draped that's draped fine so now we can go into our Nvidia iRay preview mode see roughly how this looks cool right so we need to turn on our HDRI draw mode and that just looks weird because it's all blurry and everything so what we're going to do is I'm just going to choose a HDRI from my library I used to have a massive library but I've moved hard drives and since then it's kind of diminished slightly but this one probably do the one I've just chosen it's going to be a lot dimmer so now all we have to do is rotate the HDR until I get the light exactly where I want it to be so I'm thinking I'm going to turn draw ground off in my render settings as well and then I'm going to change the dome rotation I'm going to change it 90 degrees at a time until I find an angle that looks good that's actually not far off that's not far off so let's try going back a bit. Let's try 70 degrees and see if that works. Now we need to come round the other way. So let's go with 115. We want some light on the side of our face. That's really what I'm after. I'm actually going to just minimize that. I'm going to turn off the selectability of that and unselect that. And then we can just get a slightly better feel 
for uh, how the image is going to look. Texture on the top is kind of bugging me a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back into texture shaded mode. I'm going to jump out of my camera and I'm going to turn on on this camera field of view, uh, depth of field. I'm going to just bring the camera back and it's going to be focusing really tight on her face. And then hopefully that will add a little bit of a blur to the top. And just bring that back a smidge. Just want both her eyes to be in focus. And then if we jump back into our camera view mode and we can switch back to Nvidia iRay mode, then that should hopefully have added a little bit of softness to that top's texture. see how it looks there we go it looks a little better still not perfect if I'm being honest uh, I'm actually wondering if maybe there is an alternative material for that item of clothing let's have a looky in our smart content materials let's have a look uh, I quite like this one it's quite cool that's a bit better Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually adjust the surfaces. So if I click on that and I click on, I have to un, 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 unclick that. No rush. And then I can select the top and then we can investigate the... So if I drop down the opacity of that slightly. No, that's not what I meant. Bring that back up to full white. At the moment, it's very flat. As you know, it's, it's, there's not a lot of detail in there, so it's got a glossy color map on it. Let's drop the glossy layered weight down a little bit. There we go. Starting to look a bit more like an actual item of clothing now. And I think we need to change up the normal map slightly, add a little bit more texture. There we go. It's looking a slightly better. It's fine. Again, this is only a selfie. It's only going to be in, the sh in on the screen for a very brief period of time. It's not something that the game the gamer is going to focus on for any extended period of time. Either way, this kind of works for me. So I'm going to just turn off the clickability of that again. And I'm going to just hide the cameras because you don't need them to be in the shot. And that kind of works for me. So I'm just going to render that out and see what happens. Uh, thanks very much for watching this guys, I hope you found that useful. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. But until then, take damn good care of yourselves, alright? Bye bye.